G'day mates. Today I'll teach you how to upload your Dream Station 2 SD card data to Sleep HQ if you want to take a look at your therapy results in more detail. Now, where do we find the SD card on a Dream Station 2? It's hidden. It's in here. So we press, it pops out. There it is. And then we'll just plug it into our computer. So you need an SD card reader. If you've got a phone or a tablet, you can also buy an on-the-go card reader, but today we'll just be using my laptop here. And then you'll also need a free SleepHQ account, sleephq.com, takes two seconds to join, and then you're good to go. Now when you join, um, you'll come over here to Data Imports, We'll visit the data imports page. Now, step one, we're going to select our machine type, DreamStation 2. So I'll click here and then scroll down to DreamStation 2. It's pretty much the same process for all the devices here. We're just dragging and dropping the contents of the SD card into the import section, begin upload, and you're good to go. So I'll select DreamStation 2. And we've recently added a section where you can select your mask now, if you wanna track your mask performance. So I'll click select your mask and we'll choose the Philips Dreamwear here. If it's your first upload, you'll need to add a new mask here. So you click add new mask, I'll show you it now. Add new mask. And let's just say we're using the Dreamwear full. So here's the Dreamwear full. I'll just choose medium. And then you scroll down here Choose your purchase date. We'll just go the 1st of the 7th, 2025. Create mask, and now you've added a mask to your profile. It's as easy as that. So now we have our Philips Dreamwear, uh, DreamStation 2 here with our Philips Respironix Dreamwear mask. And now we're gonna import the files, and it's a drag and drop method. So we're gonna locate our SD card, and then we're gonna drag and drop the files into this section here. So on my Mac here, I'm gonna to go to Finder to find the SD card. Here it is here. And all I'm gonna do now is drag and drop this P-Series folder into the box. Okay, you can see there's a little green tick here where it says P-Series. And I've added 3,422 files. And now I'll just select Begin Upload don't know why that popped up. All right, there we go. Your data is now being processed. Feel free to click around the app. Now, if it's your first upload to Sleep HQ and you've got a lot of data on the card, it can sometimes take a bit of time for the platform to process all that information, analyze it and chart it for you. So just click begin upload, go and make a cup of tea, do whatever you need to and then come back 15, 20 minutes later and you'll be good to go. Um, future uploads will take a lot less time because the system will analyze all the files and will only upload the new information. So it won't upload you know, 2024, 2023 and so on. All right, now once you've done the upload, come up here to dashboard and now you have all your detailed DreamStation 2 data right here on Sleep HQ. You can compare your results against other people on the platform. So you can see here, this patient got a perfect 100 out of 100. Let me flip this here. They are in the top 0.01% of users for apnea hypopnea index, leak, and usage. Now you can see here we also have the O2 score with Sleep HQ. If you like, you can also track your blood oxygen levels, your pulse rate and your movement data alongside your CPAP therapy data. This is a Sleep HQ O2 Ring Pro. If you wanna check it out, click the link below. But basically you just slide it on, it turns on automatically and it will take a sample of your blood oxygen every second while you're sleeping. We can see we have all the device settings here. There's all the device settings. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we've got all the statistics. We've got our pressure trace, and we can also zoom in and see every single breath. 
that was taken throughout the night in high resolution. You've got your leak rates there, your snoring and so on. You can also come over here to the trend page. And we, look at, we can look at trends. It's the AHI trending over time. Lots of information there guys. And if you like, you can also generate reports. So we'll quickly generate a report here. We'll just do a summary report today. And we'll do a monthly report. And there's our report, which we can print off, download, send to a healthcare professional, whatever you need to. Right. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Until next time, sleep well, look after your mates, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.